While in Rome, Pope Francis is making his preparations to travel to Kazakhstan, we make our way south to Nur Sultan to see what awaits the Holy Father in the nation's capital. Nur Sultan, previously called Astana, became the capital in 1997 and is a rising social and economic power in Central Asia. The country's predominant religion is Islam, but it has also become a center for interreligious dialogue. The Nazarbayev Center is organizing the interreligious summit that the Holy Father will be attending during his visit. The chairman, Bulat Sarsenbayev, says the Pope's visit will bring much-needed spiritual support to Kazakhstan and the region. First of all, we know him as such a bright advocate of peace and harmony between people. In Kazakhstan, we have a population of over 100 ethnic groups and 18 official religious confessions that are registered, so it's a very important issue for us. It is a question of unity of the nation and a question of peaceful existence. Generally, at our Congress, you can see religious representatives that may never meet anywhere else that are all sitting at one round table. Bulsana Tulep Berganova is one of the key people preparing the papal visit. She says that the outcome of the religious meeting will be unprecedented. The main outcomes of the Congress will be outlined in the final declaration. This declaration will be disseminated among uh, political and business leaders uh, to, and, and uh, will be sent to international organizations, including the UN. Locals have received the news of Pope Francis' upcoming visit positively and say that Kazakhstan is open for anyone to visit, especially for such an important religious leader as Pope Francis. Parishioners of the Cathedral of Our Lady of Perpetual Help are very excited, and many remember the visit of St. John Paul II in 2001. They also say that they pray for Pope Francis' health and his safe arrival. Metropolitan Archbishop Tomasz Peta calls this upcoming visit an historical event. Visit this visit has great significance, both for the Catholic Church, who are present in Kazakhstan, a small flock, and for the state. We expect a great blessing, both for the church and for society. There is already a logo, and there is a motive for the Pope's visit, a slogan that sounds, Messengers of Peace and Unity. I think that's what it's all about. The highlight for Catholics will be the celebration of Holy Mass at the Expo Square. 40,000 people are expected to attend. The Mass will be broadcast live on big screens on four of the city's skyscrapers. It will be a joyful celebration for the Catholic Church here, which only came out of the shadows 30 years ago, after the collapse of the Soviet Union.